Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Muhammad Zaki Mas'ud. I will be your instructor for this part 2 of topic 7, Secure Socket Layer, SSL. Web security includes the security of the server, the security of the clients, and the network traffic security between a browser and also a server. This is where we have the SSL, also we see it as TLS, and some of the, of the application is the SSH, and also the SET. A web server, it can be a static content model, which a web server uses file server static content template. A dynamic content model, is a web server uses a database server to retrieve or store dynamic content. Or we can have a mixture of both storing the dynamic content in a file server and store a static content in a database server. Okay, next we're going to discuss on the web vulnerabilities or the web server threats or attacks. A web server can be attacked in form of one, replace static content, or we call it as the web defacement. This is where the server vulnerability is exploited and the attacker access the web or the file server. The next attacks can be in form of denial of service attack or DOS or DDoS or distributed denial of service attack, in which a request large of uh, a large amount of requests is sent to the server and cause the server to break down and stop all its services. The server can also be facing unauthorized database access, for example, an SQL injection, where it exploits the vulnerabilities to read or write into the database. Or the attack can be towards the operating system of the server itself or other services offered by the server. This going to exploit the vulnerability and cause the server to be disabled. Now we go on details on the replace static content or the defacement. In a defacement, normally a cracker or hacker going to exploit the vulnerabilities to gain access to the web or file server. An example of the flaws can be in the CGI programs or the flaws in the URL processing, or even the buffer overflow. Once it is exploited, the attacker could replace the web page with their own. This may also access other protected content in the web server. A distributed denial of service attacks it can cause by a hackers or crackers that perform resource exhaustion attacks. This is where the server is overwhelmed, is overwhelmed with requests and cause the network or the CPU or the disk bandwidth filled with unwanted data. An example is by requesting a large image of file or by posting a large image or file required by many zombies. This emulate a complex transaction, and a zombies is the source, the, the source point of attacks, which can be in form of any other computers. We can, that is up to 1,000 to 100,000 of computers that we call it as the zombies. Unauthorized database access can be caused by a hacker or crackers that exploit the vulnerability in the web server or database server connection to read or write database. An example of it is to use a URL or post attack to inject the SQL code. By doing this, they get access to web server that can connect to the database. This kind of attack can compromise the database integrity if the hackers or crackers change the content or the data inside the database server. All this threat can be avoided 
if we provide the SSL or TLS, which is a secure socket layer or a transport layer security. SSL or TLS is widely used in a web browser and support and server to support a secure e-commerce over the HTTP. SSL architecture, architectures provide two layers. The first one is what we call as the SSL record protocols, which provide secure, reliable channel to the upper layer. As the second part is the upper layer carrying, which have a SSL handshake protocol, change cipher spec, protocol alert protocol, HTTP, and any other application protocols. Okay, SSL and TLS application. Example of it, a secure e-commerce using the SSL or TLS. Client authentication not needed until the client decide to buy something. SSL provide a secure channel for sending credit card information or personal details. Client authenticated using a credit card information or a domain bears most of the risk. A very successful of it is the Amazon.com online supermarket or booking and airline tickets. Well guys, we are the last slide of this session. The next video will be on the next part of this subtopic. Hope this session session has given you some new knowledge on the secure circuit layer or the SSL. If you want to know more about this topic, don't hesitate to contact me at the email below. See you next time. Assalamualaikum and a very good day.